Good morning. It is January 23rd, 2018. This is the Rise and Grind. My name is Glenn Lundy. I am your host. I am also a father of six, a husband to one, and the general manager at Dan Cummins Chevrolet and Buick in Paris, Kentucky. The second largest used car volume franchise dealership in the country. And now we're here, rising and grinding, 5.30 a.m. I'm rising and grinding with Tasha and Ther- Taryn and Tom Sizemore, Adam McKay, good morning. Adam Lyons, good morning. Alan Smith, Mr. Aaron Jones in the house again this morning. Love it. Eric Mitchell, good morning. John Hinkson, my man. What's up? Yes, everybody's here. Everybody's pouring in. I love it. Clayton Lisak hopped in here. Clayton's new on our team, guys, over at Dan Cummins. He's killing it. His wife's always on here supporting Wendy Lisak. Love it. Oh, we got Melissa and Aaron Jones in here this morning. Even better. Scott Simons, what's up, sir? Mr. Scott Simons is rising and grinding. I love it. I love those of you that get to join me live on the Rise and Grind. I love everybody that's getting up, beating the sun up. You have already won today. You realize that? You have already won today. You beat the sun up. You're a winner. Congratulations. You should be excited. You should be thrilled. That's amazing. Andy Buck's in here. Sean's in here. Sean's a winner already this morning. Ken is a winner already this morning. Michael's winning already this morning. Now, for those of you that are going to watch this live stream later, sorry. I'm just saying, we love you. We love you, and I'm glad you're on the stream, and we got lots to learn today. We're going to go over a few things that are going to help make your life better, hands down. But those of you that are in here live, that beat the sun up, you done already won. You didn't already want to have to battle. My boy Michael Kerrigan was up late, and yet he's rising and grinding. Melvin, appreciate your message yesterday, rising and grinding. Mr. Troy Cord squeaked in here just in time. He's going to get a good morning. Now, hey, guys, we've been building up this uh, group here, the Rise and Grind this show, and it's been awesome. I appreciate all of you guys' shares. I appreciate your encouragement. appreciate all the messages that you guys send me, all the likes, all the comments, all that stuff. Absolutely love it. It means so much to me. So continue to do those things. If you would, please, we'll continue to bring people in this community of Rising and Grinding. Now, to this morning, now that we've got that out of the way, now that we done said good morning to the folks, and there they go, the little, the likes and the hearts and the bubbles, they pop up. Man, it stuff jacks me up. Isn't it crazy? The crazy, the things that can jack us up today's day and age, man. Nuts. Anyway, it is, what day of the week? Tuesday, Tuesday morning. I love Tuesday mornings. Got basketball with my boys here pretty soon. We're getting ready to rise and grind over at the YMCA. We play basketball on Tuesdays, 6.30. It's awesome. And that actually leads me right into what I want to talk about today. There are five investments that you have to start making today. You have to make these five investments if you want to get to the next level in your career, the next level in your, in your home life, the next level in your faith, Whatever, the next level with your finances, if you want to get to the next level, you have to make these five investments and you have to start making them today. The first investment that you have to start making today is you have to make sure that you are investing in your team. Okay, now, doesn't matter whether you're at management level with your team, doesn't matter you know, if you're on the same level with your team, none of that matters, okay? What matters is that you have to start to invest in your team. Now, here's what I mean by that. When we are investing in our teams, we are investing things like time, okay? We have to spend time together with our teams. We have to spend time together inside of work. We have to spend time together outside of work. We have to get to know our teammates personally whether it be at work whether it be in our surroundings whatever we got to get to know them 
personally these people that are on our on our teams we got to spend special holidays together we got to do things like what we do at dan cummins which is we get together at 6 30 in the morning on tuesdays and play basketball now you see the reason that we do that is not just for physical it's not just for exercise it's an opportunity for these guys that are working that are working 12 hours a day, grinding every single day. It's a time for us to get together outside of the building, throw some elbows, talk some smack, get to know each other a little bit better. Get to know each other on a little different level, a little more personal level, which builds a different bond. So we have to invest in our team, spend some time with them. I'm going to invest in my team this morning. I'm going to spend an hour and a half with them. We're going to run. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a good time. Something that I'll do at the dealership is sometimes I'll just walk around and just find somebody. I'll just find somebody that's eating lunch or I'll find somebody that's, that's uh, maybe standing outside taking a break. And I'm going to, at that point, just invest some time into them. Just invest some time. Hey, how you doing? What's going on in your life? Where are you? Where are you? you know, how's your kids? How's your wife? How was your trip? How was your vacation? How was this? How was that? Where are you at? So on and so forth. Let's sit down. You want to eat. Let's get Wendy's. Let's get, let's get uh, KFC. Whatever it is, invest in your team. It's the only way that you can grow. It's the only way you can get better. It's the only way that you're going to have people that are going to be there to help you, to lift you up, to get to that next level. I think a lot of times in business and a lot of times in life, we get so caught up in our, in our own little bubble. We get so caught up in our own little stuff. And we start to think that we can do it all without our teammates. We get this, this I mentality. It becomes I instead of we. And you guys all know there's no I in team, right? We, you, know, you know that. There's no I in team. So please, invest in your teams. Invest time. Invest, some per, invest personally. Uh, spend some time with them at lunch. Spend some time with them on holidays. And and as, if you are in a management position, you have to in, you have to spend time training these guys. You have a duty, an obligation, and a responsibility to train these people. So take some time and do that. Invest in your team. Invest in the we, not in the me. Okay. The second thing that you have to invest in if you want to get to the next level in whatever it is that you're doing. The second thing that you have to invest in is yourself. Uh-oh. A lot of people don't want to do this. Listen, you have to be invest in yourself. And I am going to tell you this morning, I am going to give you permission this morning, right here, right now, to spend money on yourself. Invest in yourself. I want you to go out today, this week, sometime. I want you to buy some nice clothes. Some super nice clothes that make you feel really good about yourself. Go out and do it. Just indulge. Go a little bit over the top. Be a little bit excessive. Get yourself something nice. Okay? Whether it be, now I'd tell you to go get nice cars too, but of course, you know, I work at a car dealership. So, you know, that might work out. But if you need a car, go out and get a nice car. Invest in a beautiful home. And more importantly, start investing in some books. Start investing in some conferences. Start investing in yourself. Start spending money on yourself. My entire life, entire life started to change. <laughs> Darian said he's telling Jess. I love it. Hey, my entire life started to change. Something happened with my feed here. Uh-oh. You guys still there? What happened? There it is. My entire life started to change when I started to go to some conferences. I started to go to, to different conferences to, to kind of get motivated, to learn more about myself. I started spending more time with guys like Jim Rohn, and you can write these names down if you want because these guys will change your life. But I started spending more time with Jim Rohn. I started spending more time with John Maxwell. I started spending more time with Les Brown. I started spending more time with Tony Robbins. I started spending more time with Grant Cardone. I started spending more time with uh, uh, Eric Thomas. I started spending more time with Inky Johnson, I started spending more time with all of these guys. I started investing in me. And I did go out and I did get me a nice little suit. And I do get my hex ties that make me feel good about myself. And they're expensive. They're not cheap. I get it. 
Spend a little bit of money on yourself. Invest in yourself. If you look good and you feel good, then you will attract good things into your life and into your world. It's okay. You need to do it. If you're not investing in yourself, oh my gosh, what the heck? I mean, where, where can you get the greatest return on any investment on the planet? Who's going to give you a better return than you? Nobody's going to give you a better return than you. Invest in yourself. Find the time. Spend a little bit of money. Make yourself feel good. That's the second thing. Third thing, I need you to invest in strangers. I need you. You, you have to invest in strangers if you want to get anything in your life to the next level. Here's what I mean by investing in strangers. If you see someone in need on the street, you need to help them. Invest in them. Throw them some change, man. Buy them a coffee. Do something. I know. I get it. It's controversial. Oh, well, maybe that guy's really just not big down, you know, and he's just begging on the street, and he should go get a job, and all that stuff starts popping into your head. That is not for you. That is not for you. I'm sorry. That is not for you. Okay? Here's what you have to do. You have to start investing in strangers. If you see someone on the street that needs help, help them out. That's a stranger. If you have a customer or if you're in a sales situation or you're in retail or wherever wherever it is that you work, if you if there's a customer, you see a person that's right there that needs something, you must now invest in that stranger. You must now spend time in them, even if it's not your customer. Say it's somebody else's customer. Show them where to go. Point them towards the bathroom. Get them a cup of coffee. Invest in that human being. Invest in that stranger. You have to. As far as uh, charitable organizations, things like that, the, the, little, the little change cups at, at the Speedway gas station that you can throw a little change in or giving to your church or whatever, you need to start investing in strangers. There is something that happens on a universal level when you start to give more of yourself, when you start to stretch the boundaries of what you're used to, and you start to help people with no expectation of getting help back. When you start to do that and you start to invest in strangers, your world will expand on a level that you will not be able to comprehend. I've seen it. I've lived it. I do it every day. Guys like uh, Sean Hayes. I know a bunch of you guys watch and follow Sean Hayes. Sean Hayes is blowing up right now because he is investing in strangers. We have this thing called social media where you can go out there and you can spend your time trying to help people that you will never meet. People that you will never shake hands with. People that you will never know the impact that you are having on their life. We're out there. Sean Hayes is out there doing that. He's doing that. And his world is expanding on a level that he would never have imagined. You have to start investing in strangers. Selfless in your actions. Don't do it for, don't do it for any other reason. Don't do it to receive. Do it, do it, do it out of generosity. Do it out of kindness, and your universe will expand. I promise. First, we're going to invest in our teams. Then we're going to invest in ourselves. Then we're going to invest in strangers. And lastly, I need you to invest diligently every single day. I need you to invest in your family. Invest in your children. Guys, out there i know we're rising and grinding and we're spending time and we're working and we're you know we're trying to get it all together and i i get it i get it i get it i get it it is a grind nobody out there grinds like i grind i get it i'm up at 4 30 in the morning i'm rising and grinding i'm hitting the gym i'm working out i'm going to work i'm doing all that stuff OK, and it's busy. And when I get home at eight o'clock at night or eight thirty at night or nine o'clock at night or whatever time I get home, when I get home and that little boy, Joel, when he looks up at me and he raises his arms and he says, pick me up, you better believe it. I'm picking him up and you need to be picking him up, too. And when, and, when, and when you get home and your spouse is looking at you and they just need a back rub or they just need you to massage their feet or they just need you to hold them or whatever it is and you don't feel like doing it, you got to do it anyway. 
You have to do it anyway. You have got to invest in your family. Okay? You are not going to get a bigger return from anyone else. Your family, you're going to get more joy out of your family. You're going to get more fuel from your family. You're going to get more passion from your family. You're going to get more dedication from your family. You're going to get more desire from your family. You're going to get more memories from your family. And ultimately, you're going to get more love from your family than you're going to get from anybody else ever. Think about it. Think about your connection to your mom or your dad or that one person in your in your life that invested some time in you. That family member that chose to invest in you. Think about what they mean you, to you today. And that's what you can mean to somebody in the future. You got to invest in your family. All right? You got to make sure to invest in your family. And we get caught up and I have to remind myself all the time, man. When I'm off on Sundays, that's day with my family. If you guys try reaching out to me on Sunday, I'm probably not going to come back to you. I'm sorry. I'm investing in my team. I'm investing in myself. I'm investing in people, but I'm investing in my family. And I've got a little bit of window. I got a window for them that starts at Saturday at about 12 o'clock and it ends Sunday at about midnight. That is my window and that is my time with my family. And I will continue to invest in them. One million percent. So I'm running a little bit late. I actually had uh, a little bit more, but we got to get off of here. So we, maybe we'll talk about this a little bit more tomorrow. But listen, guys, so if you're taking notes, or you're not taking notes. Here's the recap. You need to invest in your team. Give them your time. Give them some training if you are a leader. Spend time with them personally. Eat some lunch with them. Find out about them. Invest in your team. Spend some time with them outside of work if you can. You need to invest in yourself. Buy yourself some nice clothes, man. Get yourself a nice car, beautiful house, whatever it is you got to do. Travel around. Do some traveling. Get some experiences. Go to some conferences. Get you some audio books. Do some reading. Things like that. Okay, we got to invest in ourselves. Invest in strangers. Make sure every opportunity that you get, you're investing in strangers. And last but not least, make sure you're investing in your family. It's so incredibly important that you invest in those that you love and that you cherish and don't take them for granted because one day they could go away and that would not be good. You don't want that, all right? Hey, guys, I got to tell you guys a couple things. First of all, if you need to see a little bit more um, inspirational stuff this morning, motivational stuff this morning, maybe you need some educational stuff this morning, some leadership stuff this morning, whatever, if you hop on to YouTube.com slash In The Beginning Inspiration, I have tons of videos up there that you can check out. You can also follow me on Instagram at Glenn Lundy. And then I got news for you. We created a group. We created a group. And you guys are invited to the group. And the group name, if you search in Facebook, search for hashtag rise and grind as far as the groups. Hashtag rise and grind. You'll see it popped right up top. There'll be a shirt that says I grind. Go ahead and join in the group. We're going to pull this community of risers and grinders. Today, we'll be giving away rise and grind gear in the group. We're gonna, uh, I'm going to start doing these, these uh, podcasts here out of the group later once we get things going. Motivational, inspirational, uh, leadership, things like that. We're just going to go ahead and network, come together, help each other, lift each other up as a team which will be awesome. So make sure you check that out. You guys go ahead and start jumping in. I'll send out some invites and stuff too, but it's hashtag rise and grind. Join the group. Have a great day. I am going to play basketball with my boys. I will see you. Thanks again. And remember that you have already won. You are special. You are unique. You are part of an elite group of people that are up before the sun's up that are attacking the day, you guys are incredible. You are awesome, and you are going to kill it today. I can't thank you so much for your support, for your encouragement. I'm here for you. Feel free to reach out to me anytime, and have an awesome, incredible Tuesday. See ya!